Hey, Don Copeland here, and today we're going to be printing uh, samples for a customer of ours, and uh, we're printing on some tiles. We've got permission from them to show you the printing process on this. I want to show you what we're going to be printing here. These are just gorgeous. These are like a nine and eight inch by eight inch tiles, and uh, we're printing directly onto them. They're going to coat them, and they're going to use these for like placing on walls as backsplashes and things like on the, in a bathroom and the walls as what. Well. But check this one out. Check this one out here. This is actually a four up, one design across the entire four tiles. Basically a 16 inch by 16 inch design and uh, just crazy, crazy awesome opportunity to make money using your printer for something different than just signage and the traditional type of things we do with them. But uh, we'll show you here, show you the process of laying them out, show you how we set it up in the software and show you the print time and the cost when we're done here. So. Uh, Let's get started. Let me show you what we did with the software. So we'll show you what we did here in the software. Uh, what we've done is I have set up and drawn, these are seven and seven, seven and seven eighth inch basically squares. I've laid these out. This is, you'll notice down here, these are the two that are zero alignment between them to give us our 16 by 16. And these are our individuals. And uh, I can actually turn that layer off. And then on a second layer, what I did is I brought in all of the graphics and superimpose them over top of the squares and here so that we can have perfect alignment. The first thing I've done is I've actually already sent over to our RIP software. We've sent over this page and you'll be able to see that here in the, the RIP software on the 1200. I actually sent it to what is called our white only queue, all right, which is right in here. We dropped it into the white only, so it printed those out in white. And then on the next layer, I'm gonna send these over to here to our single pass layer and go ahead and send that over. We've already sent the, the outlines over, so let's go back to the design software. We're gonna now turn on, after I would have printed my outline layer, turn that off now and turn that off of printing, turn on this layer, which is our bitmap layer, and turn that on to printing. I'm going to print this over to the compress rip. I'm going to print the entire bed here that we've got selected. It's a large file. These are very big images, as you can see. Most of these are at least 300 DPI, some of them closer to 600 DPI. And I'm going to print this to the single pass only mode, all right, relative to the page blank, which I can look at here. I have it set up relative to the page blank, okay. Okay, and this is going to send this all over relative to the same start point that I used on the white outlines. It should appear over here momentarily. See, it's importing the job. It's a big job. A lot of bitmap map data in here. And once it comes in, we're going to set this to our proper mode that we want it to print at. And then we're going to let it go and we'll see how much it's going to cost an in ink. We'll actually process it first so we can see how much it'll cost an in ink. So you see we've imported the file here. You see a video, a, I mean a, a representation over here on the right of where it's going to print at. Had the name of the file and whatnot. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to change it to fine color only mode. All right. And I'm going to tell it that I want it to print it in unidirectional because the customer has re requested a high quality. This is basically 1440 by 720 DPI. I'm gonna process the file first so we can get an idea of our ink cost in it. All right, we've processed it, this entire thing to print all of these tiles, which if I'm not mistaken, is 15 tiles to total, because we have eight here and then seven individuals. It's $3.16. Basically, a little over, it's about uh, 76 cents. No, I'm sorry. Take that back. 21 cents for each one of these tiles, roughly, to print, because there are four in each of these. All right, looks good. We're going to go ahead and send this over to the printer and let it go. There we have it. Uh, we've printed 15 separate tiles. All right. You have designs. We have seven separate designs on these. Then we have two batches of four, roughly 16 inches by 16 inches, together as a kind of a mosaic. And right here, as you can see, just over 22 minutes in print time. And I think we mentioned earlier, $3.16 
total cost for all these tiles. So if you start to do the math on that, that would be about 21 cents a tile for ink cost. And at 22 and a half minutes, let's say, that's roughly a minute and a half to print each tile. So uh, this, this is a huge marketplace. You can take these tiles, you can now coat these tiles with a clear coat so that they can be used like in a bathroom or a, a backsplash splash for a, a kitchen, uh, or even as just for art up on the wall. And you have just an amazing quality prints, relatively inexpensive. I'm not quite sure what the tiles cost. The customer shipped the tiles to us, but they can't be terribly expensive tiles. Another cool point that we, I want to point out here is, if you'll notice, these tiles are kind of lined up, but we were able to do all these separate designs on each of these, including a mix of four up, four up versus individuals as well. So it's not all just about one tile, two tiles, multiple individual tiles. We could have mixed up and had three of these of this type or something with three in a row. It doesn't matter. The printer doesn't care. As long as you can target properly, which we did here, it's the way to do it. Also gives you a little bit of an insight to what we get on a regular basis for sample type of work uh, when you send stuff in. And uh, you can see that we actually do generate stuff live right here. So I'm Don Copeland with the Compress 1200. Thanks for watching.